Hi guys, and that's it. As promised, I arrived gay at the Real Housewives of Johannesburg Season 3 watch party. It looked elegant, it looked amazing. <laughs> I looked sickening and pungacho. This is me getting a welcome drink, but the alcohol and the alcohol. But so I walk in and there's flashlights Sorry, everywhere, sir. people taking pictures of you. I won't know with the camera, but, 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 you know, so, we are saying hi to this one and hi to that one. Gays were looking amazing, ladies were looking great, and then boys. Ah, oh, please, 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 boys. Can we talk about boys? Kick up our wing, you know, and then my camera disappointed me for a bit because why are you talk about? I'm trying to grab Obev. O Camila is dancing for me. A camera is player. Yo, I am disappointed. Get out like she decided to move back to life. Baby, baby, come back about baby, baby, come back. Baby, baby, come back. Emma, pose it. My <laughs> this is so embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. But it was just as great watching everybody walk into the red carpet. You know, this is Lebo Mokwen. And now Lebo was snatched. Lebo looks amazing, hey? Lebo looks amazing. Gerati Gara. Flex stomach. The hip morning. It's a part of face beat. Yo, I guys. No. Let me let this thing go on its own. Miss Babe, how are you? Hi, how are you? I am okay, thank you. Nice to see you here today. Thank you, so lovely to see you too. Uh, thank I'm just you so much. Okay. Loving Johannesburg. Oh, please. It's not too bad. Yes. It's raining in Cape Town, it's so happy to be here. <laughs> it's a pleasure to see you, ma'am. So, I would like us to talk about your experience in the Real Housewives of Cape Town. But firstly, I'd like to know. How was it for you when they approached you to say we'd like for you to be part of the Real Housewives of Cape Town? It was very daunting. I actually never applied to be on the show. They approached me. I threw myself into the show. I had two weeks to get ready. So I really didn't have time to decide whether I wanted to do it or not. It was just something I threw myself into. And yeah, it was a great experience. No regrets. So would you go back for season two? Should you be requested oh, to? <laughs> <laughs> and you look amazing, by the way, Nim. You look very great. Okay. Ma'am, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I am alright. You look amazing, by the way. So, now no, that... No, 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 wait. Sorry. Let's talk about my voice. I mean, look at you. Should I make it? Assembly, I would love that. Yes, honey, save me. <laughs> now we can go on. Of course. <laughs> so now, now that the Real Housewives of Johannesburg is retaining, Oh, you mean Lejoy is a return? The Joy Matato. That should not be forgotten, my darling. Please. How do you feel about it? I'm excited. I mean, uh, I think this season is going to be super amazing. Uh, having the two OGs. Of course. You know, <laughs> and the new cast members. Uh, I think it's going to be amazing. Some of the fresh from the new ladies and the growth from the OGs. So, what should people expect from you in this season three? Uh, Beauty from me. Ah Beauty from me. Ah la la. Beauty from me. Yes. Beauty from me. Small waist, a big lips, anything gorgeous. Anything uh, with the joy in it. It's you know, it's so all we are signing up to. What to expect? That will be the first on the list. Anyway. Please, ma'am. Thank you so much. We love you. Have a great evening. Uh. Leon, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. How are you? I am okay. You look amazing, by the way. I mean, so as an ACAST member, what is it that viewers can expect when seeing you? Oh my God, you need drama. <laughs> um, short temper, lots okay. of fabulosity, and a straightforward person. Yes. And also, I have a lot of vulnerability, you know. Um, when you are... 
you are supposed to have a strong personality. Yes. And sometimes there is a moment of weakness. And I mean, the moment of weakness is it's where people get to see the real me. Because I think you would know that it takes a lot to look like this. It True. takes a lot to be who we are. So that's beyond pain for now. Now, is Leon part of any drama, causing drama, or, you know, putting petrol in already existing fire? Who Leon, who needs drama? Who Leon is sugar? Who Leon is basically the main of the group? Leon is a spoiled child of the group. Who um, Leon, uh, oh my god, I don't know, you're gonna watch and see. Um, yeah, Uleon, Usupi, basically. So Uleon, is it is it only him or there's others in, in the cast? In most of times, it was Leon, me. Okay. Um, I remember I worried from episode one to... I worried, Usupi. <laughs> and yeah, it was amazing and I enjoyed myself a lot. So in a nutshell, how was the entire experience for you? It, it was amazing. Um, I cried, I laughed, I understood and I learned. And... I think because it's easy to as it went to move. We are full and abound, umuntu muntu abound. And um, you know what? You can't take away um, me being myself. There was no pretense. It was just me being me. I honestly love the fact that you can speak Zulu first Thank of all, you. because Thank I'm you. out here in Kulumislung <laughs> because kavangu tanye kumi is we can't. And I'm learning it. Kiki 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 kiki. How do I say? Kiauta. 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 And how did you get to be the A-list, the A-cast in the Housewives of Johannesburg? Hey, my social media, being fabulous, being Leon Payne, just being an overall... Honey, this is you we're talking about, first of all. Just being, I mean... Hallelujah. Worried, this coat is chinchilla. I it's not just a coat, it's a fur. It's, it's chinchilla. This is Respect the money that fur. comes with it. <laughs> so, yeah. Hello, Puti. Say, Obu Fev, and you go to the next. I'm going to go <laughs> Miss Label, how are you? How are you doing? I am okay. Let's talk about the rebranding now being Label Mukwe. Now, what should people expect from you as an individual? I think for me, what people should expect from me as an individual is that I've always been Lebu Mukwena. I think for me this season, which is season three, Lebu Jojo Mukwena really comes out. She blossoms into this beautiful flower, as you can see. Um, for me, it's the journey. Um, I am successfully happy. Anything that has to do with me divorced. So for me, it's a, more of me doing things that I've always wanted to do, starting businesses I've always wanted to start, and for me choosing myself every day. For me taking each day as it comes and continuing to choose the good of the So as an as Ulebu in, in season three, what are people supposed to expect? Maybe drama, standing up for yourself and stuff like that? I think for me, people should expect, I wouldn't say drama, I wouldn't say standing up for myself, I, I would just say, just stay tuned, stay tuned, I don't want to reveal a lot, there is a lot, I mean, there's like seven, ten, how many of them are we, I don't know how much we are, like, so did, would you say now you have found yourself before season three or after during i would definitely not say i found myself for me i find myself each and every day i always say that i'm not the same person i was last month i'm not the same person i was last year i'm definitely not the person i was when you met me in season two and that's quite evident it shows in my skin it shows in the figure it shows in the voice um it's, it's a lot I, I i continue to find myself each and every day and i hope you continue to bring the journey with me throughout the and i love the new you you look amazing by the way thank you you are slaying you are giving. I'll definitely share my divorce for as details. <laughs> but again, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> So 
lovely name. How are you? Okay, I am okay, thank you. So I would like to ask you your experience with the housewives of Devon. You being part of the season four, how was it for you? <laughs> well, nothing could have prepared me for what was happening or what was going to happen. But to be honest, it has made me realize and learn so much about myself. I've grown so much and basically how to navigate relationships. Listen, it was an amazing experience for me. So, with season five, should we expect you? Season four, do you mean? Oh, sorry, <laughs> my apologies, yes. Um, I'm definitely coming back on season four, should the opportunity arise. Okay. Because, one, I don't think I got to showcase who he really is. I felt like this season was my introduction, and I spent it mostly trying to defend myself in terms of like trying to change the narrative Oh, Lee is. So, season four, I'm definitely coming back. Guns blazing! <laughs> you look amazing, by the Thank way. You so Thank much. you so much. Thank you, truly really appreciate it. Have a good evening. You too. <laughs> Miss Sonia, how are you? Hey, I'm good, how are you? I am okay. Now, the Real Housewives of Johannesburg, mm -hmm. as a producer, what is it that came to mind when you came out with the idea? Um, look, I think I'm blessed because I know a lot of these Real Housewives, right? I get to interact with them, I get to spend time with them in their homes. Most, most of them actually went to the same schools and hung out together. So I would be sitting there and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to shut down my camera. Yes. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to shut down my camera. And actually, that's what sparked the idea. Okay, okay. And uh, with now season three taking place, why did it take so long for us to get season three? Um, it's, it's a tough one. I'm not sure because we had started filming and then we had to halt because, you know, the cast decided to get physical and it says in their contract that they're not allowed. Yes. So um, the powers that be decided that let's scrap it, let's start from scratch. I don't have regrets because I'm loving the season. So everything happens for a reason. Now, with us anticipating season three and it starting today, what drama are we looking forward to? Because we are all here for the drama anyway. No, no, it's the trust me. <laughs> but I always say, you know, I don't like it when you see a fire starting out of nowhere. As a viewer, you're like, Aibo, I always say, you want to see the pen on the stove, right? True. Next to the next, you know, place. Yes. We are here for the fire. Yeah, I understand that you things must blowing see out of proportion. It. You must see it. <laughs> so um, you will see that the gradual, this one getting along with this one, leaning onto this one doesn't get along with that one, and when it erupts, it's gonna make a whole lot of sense. So outside of the Real Housewives of Johannesburg, you started as Undombi on Generation yes. when we got to know you. How has the growth been from that day to date? Um, I love acting. I think acting is my first love, but I enjoy producing. I enjoy cooking. I enjoy like taking little elements, putting them together, see them work, and seeing everyone just lipping it up and enjoying it. Because you have to literally create, right? So it just fuels my creative juices. Now that you love cooking, should we expect any cooking show maybe? Yeah. Maybe no, your no. master chef of no, South no, Africa. No, no. Yes, 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 yes. Definitely. I wanna do it all. Well, ma'am, you look amazing Thank first of so all. Nice. You such a nice human being and yeah. we love you. I I, love you I personally love you. I love you. You're such I a nice person. I mean, hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for this Thank opportunity. Ma'am, how are you? You look amazing, first of all. How is the day treating you, the evening in this case? Oh, it's beautiful. The yes. Evening, the 
the ladies, it was because of the stunning. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's talk real housewives of Cape Town. Yeah. How has your experience been as a part of the housewives of Cape Town season one? It's been great, exciting, and also overwhelming. I mean, there's still, and there was so much growth. Yeah. So, would should we expect you in season two, maybe? Definitely. Of Why course, not? darling. I mean, I mean, this is you serving. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but it's such an honor seeing you. It's such an honor meeting you, and you look amazing. Of course. So, how much would you say you've grown in terms of your personality on season two, on season one of um, being in the housewives and in being in the public face of um, South Africa? I mean, you are a celebrity now. Oh, no, no, I don't think myself a celebrity. But anyway, um, you know, one thing that came, the growth that came with this reality show is uh, I discovered so much about me that I didn't know of. Which I'm so grateful for, and I'm looking forward to you know, so much more good coming to you too. Ma'am, you look amazing. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you so much. Take care. Well, thanks. How are you? I am alright. So let's talk uh, the Real Housewives of Johannesburg season three. Yes. How much are you anticipating out of ten? Uh, ten. Of course. Yes. No, because <laughs> I feel like there is going to be a lot of drama. From, yes. You know what is coming up and what I've seen so far from the first episode. It started off with a bang, so it's, it's inevitable that there will be drama throughout. But yeah. I'm so, excited. would you say you already have a favorite, or should we wait for more episodes? Uh, let's wait for more episodes for me to like. I need someone to grow on me first for me to actually establish a favorite uh, Real Housewives. Okay. So far, I love them all. They're all colorful. Like it's, a, it's such a beautiful group of ladies. So, should you be given an opportunity to be a part of the Real Housewives? Would you take it, and why? Um, for me personally, I don't think I would take the opportunity because I am I'm a very private person when it comes to my relationship or my life, and I think I show people what I want to show them. But other than that, they're doing a great job. So kudos to them. <laughs> they said the theme is purple and gold, and you came glittering in gold, darling. I mean, I look to. at you. I had to. I had to like sparkle. <laughs> I am. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. See, <laughs> how are you? I'm okay. I am alright. You look amazing, by the way. So let's talk about being a part of the Real Housewives of Cape Town season one. How has the experience been for you? Um, <laughs> for me, yes, for me, experience. Yeah. Learn to understand Abanya Bantu. Name mistakes are because we are all perfect. I've learned a lot. Good, bad, betrayal, unexpected people about the interactions out of the group. So, should we expect you in season two, and should be a part? Of, should you be a part of season two? What should we look forward to? Um, there's nothing more than I'll bring to the table. I will still be the same person as I was. Season one, I will be the way that I am. I don't think or see any need for me to change because what you see is what you get. Because we know you as a person who does not take nonsense for nobody. Really? That strong, closer woman, you are the representation of that. Okay, if we are taking it like that, then... <laughs> I mean, that is you, and I feel like that is what we bought into you. I don't bottle up things inside of me. If I don't like anything, I say it as it is, and then I do. No, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. You're Thank you. Bye. Alrighty, it's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from everybody. I hope you enjoyed.